This is Ronald McIntosh bringing you highlight coverage of the Week 3 encounter in Group A of World Series Boxing as the Argentina Condors travel to Ukraine where they were entertained by the Ukraine Ottomans at the terminal in Bovary on the outskirts of Kiev. The first contest was in the 52 kilogram flyweight division and making his debut for the Ukraine Ottomans was Kazet Usanaliyev from Kyrgyzstan. 21 years of age, a seventh ranked Aiba Open boxer in the world and he was absolutely brilliant in this, his debut in the team competition over the longer duration. Superb going forwards, superb going back backwards, his footwork was sublime as well, every punch in the book exhibited and all in all he knew far too much for Argentina's Cristian Eduardo Roda and boxed his way to unanimous points decision win and got the Ukraine Ottomans off to a winning start on their home ground of the terminal. 1-0 after one completed bout in the flyweight division. Uzanaliev was superb. In the 60 kilogram lightweight division, it was Pavlo Ishenko who was representing the home team wearing blue trunks trimmed with yellow and the reigning European Championship gold medalist came out blazing. Used a good variety of punch to keep Brian Ivan Nunes of Argentina at bay. But then in the fifth round, Nunes landed an absolute corker, a chopping right hand that stopped Ishenko in his tracks. Nunes competed right until the final bell, but the points advantage built up in the early stages was enough to see Ishenko over the finish line and he made it two bouts out of two. A unanimous points winner for the home fighter, Pablo Ishenko. Extends his unbeaten start to season four. In the 69 kilogram welterweight division, it was the two-time national champion, Luis Alberto Varon, who was making his World Series boxing debut for the Argentina Condors. He was taking on the 2008 national champion at 64 kilograms, Denis Lazarev, but the taller, languid figure of Varon from Argentina used straight punches and a backhand to terrific effect to keep the onrushing Lazarev at bay in what was a scrappy contest. In the fifth round, he dislodged the mouthpiece of, mouthpiece of Lazarev, snarling in defiance as the Ukrainian boxer went to retrieve it. Close contest, a split decision for Ron absolutely stunned into disbelief as it was Lazarev's hand who was raised a split decision win and giving them the Ukraine Ottomans an insurmountable 3-0 lead in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division Argentina was sporting another debutant as Leandro Luis Luna was pitted against Alexander Ganzulia of the Ukraine and what a baptism of fire this proved to be because Ganzulia who is undefeated and ranked three at third in season four to this point produced a hard punching display where he exhibited every single punch in the book hurtful shots to the body thunderous hooks to the head Luna continued to compete showed considerable resolve and commendable fighting spirit but he was simply overwhelmed by the marauding attacks and pinpoint accurate and oh so powerful punching of Alexander Ganzulia no mistake when it came to the final decision Luna and doing well to survive Yonano's until the final decision. bell, but make no mistake, he did far more than try and survive. Ganzulia, a unanimous points decision winner, 4-0 in favor of the Ukraine. Argentina now boxing solely for pride, as there was no prospect of rescuing even a point with them trailing 4-0. In the super heavyweight division, Igor Plavarko, wearing blue trunks trimmed with yellow, made a blistering start on this his World Series debut and a corker of a right cross brought about a standing eight count in the opening round against Luis Miguel Bravo in his opening bout of season four. But Bravo responded terrifically and in the second round produced a pair of right crosses that dipped the knees of Plavarko, almost causing the big man from the Ukraine to touch down. But he weathered the storm, came back, with terrific punches and offense of his own in what was a really keenly contested hard punching affair. Final analysis, a unanimous points decision win, a successful debut for Igor Plavarko, and a 5-0 win for the Ukraine Ottomans. There's confirmation, Ukraine Ottomans, 5-0 winners.